Hi, welcome to an instructional video on how to do a Sunday school opener. Now, this video isn't to insult your intelligence and say you don't know how to do a Sunday school opener. It's just to give you some ideas, maybe motivate you to possibly start a Sunday school opener in your core. Now, if you already have one in your core, fantastic. Keep it up, keep up the good work. And maybe this will actually help you generate some new ideas. So we're gonna start out with four basic things when we do a Sunday school opener. Um, and the first thing is Bible. What you wanna do is, when you're doing a Sunday school opener, you always wanna start in scripture. Um, we wanna make sure that we're rooting our kids in God's word and that we're teaching them God's word. So start off with scripture. Um, one of the things that I found is that if you do Bible, you can take huge chunks, such as the fruit of the Spirit, and that covers nine weeks of Sunday School Opener if you do each fruit of the Spirit, or the Ten Commandments. That's another ten weeks of Sunday School Openers if you take each one, one by one. Again, start in the Bible. That's where you're going to get your scriptures, that's where you're going to get these stories, and that's what we're all about. We're really about bringing the Bible alive to our kids at the core, and our young at heart at the core. The second thing is, how do we make them want to listen to the Bible? Well, we got to get creative. That's what we got to do. So with our scripture, there are several places that you can go. One of my favorite places is a place called SermonForKids.com. Um, and we'll post that link at some other point. But SermonForKids.com has a whole bunch, and they follow the lectionary, and they give you all the tools that you need for that day. There are uh, thousands of other places, group publishing, and all these other places that can do Sunday school stuff. But if you just want to go straight to the Bible, creative creativity is where you start. So we have this. This is a simple butterfly. Now this butterfly right now is in whole pieces. But to get creative with the Bible element of this, we're going to take this butterfly, not now, but we're going to take this butterfly and we're going to make it a puzzle. And that's how we're going to introduce different elements of the Sunday school to keep everyone engaged. You want everyone engaged from zero to 100. And to do that, you have to make sure that everybody is moving and paying attention. So creativity is a fantastic part or a huge element in making the Bible alive. Now, a part of that is, is let's take this down here, fun. You may think, wait, creative is, no. You have to make creative fun. How do we do that? Well, I found that in Sunday schools, it's great if you're doing the fruit of the Spirit to come up with a character that has to deal with the fruit of the Spirit. One second. So add different props, costumes, simple gloves to make things just a little bit different. Again, you're looking to make everyone engaged. And to do that, sometimes it means for us to get into a different character, to have fun. So we have these simple gloves and something that I made everybody chuckle with today. I was walking outside and I had this crown. Now, when we're having fun, we can't have fun just to have fun. It has to have a purpose behind it. So if you're doing uh, the fruit of the spirit, for instance, um, you could do a character such as Farmer Fran. And Farmer Fran could come in and teach about the fruit of the spirit every single week. Or the Ten Commandments. Now, the Ten Commandments are fun because you could do Moses, you could do anything that you want, but something that would keep the situation lively. But you don't want to take the fun, or the, you don't want the fun to take away from the Bible teaching that you're doing. So get fun, get creative with your Sunday school openers. A part of that fun also is your songs. A lot of times, we don't know where to go with our music. Um, we can do the songs that we used to do um, in Sunday school. Now, one of the songs that really get the kids going is your, one of the favorites is I'm in right, out right, up right, down right, happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in and cleansed my heart from sin, I'm in right, out right, up right, down right, happy all the time. Now, I messed that up. But acapella songs are great if you have a lot of motion. Now, it's also great to tap into resources to where you can have um, fun music. I suggest going to vacation Bible schools, um, past ones that you've done, and pick out a few songs that may go with your theme and that would also be very creative. Also, Hillsong for Kids has tons of songs that would make things come alive. Now, I wouldn't suggest doing 
upbeat, canned, uh, fun songs all the time, but at least one or two in your Sunday school opener. But you'll find what's right for your Sunday school when you really, really get involved and do it. But again, fun and creative also deals with the music that we're using. Um, try to find something that goes with themes, but really look for your music. Um, we have other resources that you can ask us here at the youth department and with the program department that can help you with that music as well. Now, what this all ties back into, we're going to go with the Bible, we're going to get creative with the Bible, we're going to have fun with the creativeness of the Bible, but it all comes back to the Bible. We want to reinforce the scripture lesson that we're teaching for the day. Now, for instance, we talked about the butterfly. And the scripture that's going with that is the story of Nicodemus and how Christ talked to him about him having to be born again to become a part of the kingdom of God. Now, that's not the scripture verse or the memory verse that we use. The memory verse that we want to use is something short, but something that drives home the point. That we would say, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. Now, we want to make sure that it's something simple for everybody to understand, but reinforcing the fact that we're teaching Bible scriptures, not just moral stories, but biblical sound truth to say, if anybody is in Christ, they are a new creation. So that's the whole process of what we would do for a Sunday school opener. Now, for each person or each court will be a little bit different. But for you to start off, you can follow this outline very simply. Get to the Bible. Learn your resources. Get creative. Throw some things in there. Uh, engage everybody. Have some fun. Do some props. Make sure your music is fun and engaging. And then go back to the Bible. Make sure that you're reinforcing the Bible through memory verse and all other things. Um, and you can do this through games and through all other things that, that, that you want to do. Now, you're probably asking, where do I fit my penny march in? Where do I fit all of that other fun stuff? Birthdays. Throw it in there. Make sure that you fit it in before you do your uh, memory verse or even after your memory verse. But if that's what you do at your core with the uh, birthday bank or a penny march or those type of celebrations too, don't eliminate those. But remember, you only have about 15 to 20 minutes or however long your goes. Um, we would suggest 15 to 20 minutes, no more. Um, but whatever it would be to get your people excited and happy about God's word before they study um, God's Word as a family together. Well, that's what I have. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at the youth department or the program department, and we'll be able to help you as much as we can. All right? Share God's Word, people.